Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In my previous lecture, I discuss about the introduction of the blood. I already discuss what is the form element of our blood. These are erythrocytes, leukocytes, and thrombocytes. Now I discuss about the development and production, which is called hemopoiesis. Here, hemo means blood cell, poies means development and production. If I say this term individually, in case of RBC, this is called erythropoiesis. In case of WBC, this is called leukopoiesis. In case of platelet, this is called thrombopoiesis. This is the figure. Here, we want to show you the different types of blood cells are produced. In a healthy adult person, approximately 10 to the power 11 to 10 to the power 12 new blood cells are produced daily in order to keep constant within quite narrow limits in the peripheral circulation. This implies that the rate of formation, release and destruction are balanced by feedback control mechanism to achieve this homeostatic regulation. Mature blood cells have a relatively short lifespan, must be continuously replaced by stem cell. Stem cells are produced in hemopoietic organ. According to potency of differentiation and production of different cell types, precursor cells can be of three variants. These are totipotent, pluripotent and unipotent stem cells. All cellular blood components are derived from pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell, which present in bone marrow. They are capable of differentiation to produce different cellular elements. Marrowstromal cell can also produce growth factor and stimuli that are necessary to maintain hemopoiesis. Hemopoietic stem cell possesses two properties. First of all, an ability by cell division to give rise a new stem cell, which is called self-renewal. Secondly, an ability to differentiate into mature specialized blood cell. The rate of erythrocyte production is enhanced by hypoxia, which acts mainly by stimulating secretion of erythropoietin from kidney. But no such definite mechanism are known for control of leukocytes and platelet. The sites of development of blood cell. In fetus, all blood cell develop from mesodermal germ layer. There are two types of hemopoiesis, primitive and definitive. Primitive hemopoiesis arises in yak sac on 19th embryonic day which is transient, last till 8 week of gestation. Here RBC is nucleated. Definitive hemopoiesis begins in embryo between 27 to 14 days of gestation. Here all type of blood cells are formed and RBC are non-nucleated. The site of hemopoiesis liver which is definitive hemopoietic cell rapidly shifts to the fetal liver then it becomes the main site of hemopoiesis until 7 month. Spleen makes a small contribution. The bone marrow after 7 months it is the major site of hemopoiesis. Shortly after birth it is the only site of formation of blood cell. So in intrauterine life third week to third month mesodermal iliac sac and third month to fifth month liver mainly then spleen and lymph node also small contribution. Fifth month and onward red bone marrow. Postnatal to fifth year red bone marrow of all bones. From six year to twenty years red bone marrow of long bones. This figure shows the relative rates of red blood cell production in the bone marrow of different bones at different ages. So according to the site, stage of development of RBC are mesoblastic, hepatic and myeloid. Mesoblastic in first trimester, blood cells form in the mesodermal iac sac. Hepatic second and third trimester, blood cells formed mostly in liver and some amount from spleen and lymph node. Then myeloid. Red bone marrow begins to act bone forming organ and becomes the sole region where RBC are produced. This figure shows stage of development of RBC. Here embryonic 
that means intraembryonic and after birth so let's discuss about the bone marrow it is the specialized soft connective tissue found in medullary cavity in diaphysis of long bones and cavity of the spongy bones according to the appearance bone marrow is two types red bone marrow yellow bone marrow red bone marrow is active bone marrow due to the presence of numerous rbc and yellow bone marrow it is in adipose tissue which does not produce blood cell its yellow color due to carotene present in the fat of adipose tissue in newborn all bone marrow are red in child red bone marrow found only in sternum vertebra ribs clavicle bones of pelvis and skull bones in young adult red bone marrow found in proximal epiphysis of tibia and humerus so red bone marrow consists what it consists reticular cells blood cells and nerve developing and mature blood cell fat cell fibroblast and macrophage functions of the red bone marrow production and release of blood cell destruction of rbc by macrophage storage of iron in the form of ferritin and hemosiderin inactivation of toxin and other toxic substance of our body it's perform immunoglobulin function bone forming cells are also formed in bone marrow so stages of bone cell formation there are three processes multiplication maturation and release at first multiplication multiplication of developing cell takes place in mitotic division in normal marrow mitosis can be seen in about 1% marrow cell while in hyperplastic marrow proportion may increase 5% maturation may be defined as progressive development of characteristics of mature cell both structural and functional then release of mature cell from marrow into the blood stream this figure shows the different stages of blood cell formation what is erythropoiesis erythropoiesis is the process of origin development and maturation of erythrocyte so what is a primary cell these cell are capable self renewal differentiating into specialized cell hemopoietic stem cell are primitive cell in bone marrow which gives rise to blood cell it is also called uncommitted pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell when cell designed to form particular type of cell it is called committed hemopoietic stem cell committed hemopoietic stem cell is two types lymphoid and coroniformic blastocytes lymphoid cell produce lymphocytes and natural killer cell coroniforming blastocyte gives rise to myeloid cell myeloid cells are the blood cells other than lymphocytes different type of coroniforming cells are coroniforming units of erythrocyte coroniforming units of granulocyte coroniforming unit of megakaryocytes this figure shows the different stages of development of different blood cell thank you for your patience hearing